Hello everyone, welcome to the Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agartala. So today we are going to solve Code Forces Round 151 Division 2 second question that is come together. So here is the question. Bob and Carol hang out with Elias the whole day, but now it's time to go home. Elias, Bob and Carol live on an infinite 2D grid in cells A, B and C respectively. Right now, all of them are in cell A. So all Elias, Bob and Carol are in cell A currently. There are three cells on a 2D grid. Okay. A, B and C. And currently, Elias, Bob and Carol are in cell A. Okay. And B and C want to go home. If Bob or Carol is in some cell, he, C can move to one of the neighboring cells. Two cells are called neighboring if they share a side. For example, the cell 3, 5 has four neighboring cells. 2, 5, 4, 5, 3, 6 and 3, 4. Okay, so basic thing is the neighboring cell of this. Suppose the neighboring cell of this red one is these four yellow one. Okay. So Bob and Carol can go through these four from a that is from red one okay this this is the thing so bob wants to return to cell b and carol to cell c both of them want to go along the shortest path that is along the path that consists of minimum possible number of cells but they would like to walk together as well okay so bob has to go to cell b and carol to cell c and they have to go together also and through the shortest path also okay so what is the maximum possible number of cells that bob and carol can walk together if each of them walks using walks home using one of the shortest path okay so we have to print the maximum number of cell up to which bob and carol are together okay so it is easy uh, let's check the code suppose this red one is so this red one is a this blue one is b and this green one is c okay let's write it down here that red one is a blue one is b and green one is c okay so now Look, uh, previously all the three A, B, C are here in cell A. Now Bob will have to go to blue one and Carol have to go to green one. Okay, so you can easily see that only two cases are possible. Suppose uh, the two cases are that one that uh, this red block is in between blue block and green block okay uh, the basic thing i want to say that uh, the blue one and green one is either the same side of red one or in the opposite side okay these two cases are there if suppose this case is there that if if this uh, both are on opposite side blue one and green one then shortest path is what? Blue will go like this way and Miss Bob will go like this way and Carol will go like this way. Okay. One more interesting thing is that if you uh, tra travel along the path from red to blue, then you can choose any path. All the paths are shortest one. Uh, in um, means inside and along this rectangle this rectangle okay so yes so you can easily see that uh, bob will bob will go through this way bob will go through this way and carol will go through this way then on in this case how many um, how many cell are there which are in common 
only one cell this red one so in case 2 our output will be 1 our output will be only 1 ok but in this case in this case that if both blue and green one are on same side of red one ok either this or this ok so in this case how will we calculate so let's check it look bob and carol start from red one and go like this ok and from here from here bob will go in this direction and carol will go in this direction ok so how many common how many common blocks are there this this and this one and this red one is also common okay so total four common paths are there common cells are there okay so how will we will calculate this so we will calculate like this firstly we will calculate distance from red one to blue one so how many blocks are there one two three four five six seven total seven blocks are there from a to b so from from a to b a to b seven blocks are there seven cells are there okay now from a to C that is blue to green. How many cells are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So from A to C, from A to C, eight cells are there. Okay. From A to C, eight cells are there and from b to c from b to c how many cells are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here also 8 cells are there okay so what we will do is look here if we will sum up if we will sum up this road okay this road this one okay and this one if we will sum up this road and this road then then if we will sum up this path and this path then this block this block this block and this block sum up two times understood now if we will sum up this path and this path okay if we will sum up this path and we will sum up this path then these four blocks these four blocks will be sum 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 up two times okay and in that summation if we will subtract this one this path if we will subtract this path then whole this thing will be clear and this will be remain in the sum only one time so how how total what will be done this cell remains two times this cell remains two times this cell remains two times but this cell remains only one time okay so our net summation will be what uh, our net output will be what we will print this by two and this plus one okay like what 
we will sum like this we will firstly we will add s equal to a b s s equal to a b plus a c okay and in this we will subtract b c what we have done we have add sum of sum of a b means path of a b and path of a c okay and in this from this we have subtracted b c path of b c from b to c then in this summation how many how many cells are there this red one and then this three one but from this three yellow one only this one is only this one is only this one is only one time rest of this one is two times okay rest of this one is two times so what we will do now we will do like this then we will calculate suppose r equal to s minus 1 by 2 okay and in this we will add plus 1 understood this is the basic code so yes this is our output in this case in the first case this is our output and in the second case output is 1 i hope you understood this logic then uh, that we will sum up this path and we will sum up this path in those we we have subtracted this path and now we have calculated the common path from this logic from this logic understood so let's check the code one more thing is that how we will uh, how we will means uh, check these two cases means how we, we will declare these two cases so look here in from red to blue how many cells are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 cells are there. And here how many cells are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 6 cells are from red to blue and 7 cells are from red to green. So write down here. So what are the total path? Uh, total cells in the path? 7 plus 6 okay and in 7 plus 6 this red one is common so minus 1 okay this is the total path if we have sum up this and this and now check from b to c total path 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so here it is coming 12 so 7 plus 6 13 minus 1 12 so yes both of them are correct so we will do like this so let's check the code. Okay. So look here. Firstly, we have taken input test case. And then we have taken input the coordinates of A, B and C. This X1, Y1 is coordinate of A. X2, Y2 is coordinate of B. And X3, Y3 is coordinate of C. Okay. So what we will do is firstly calculate distance between a b distance between a c and distance between b c okay so we have declared three counters a b a c and b c for distance and how we will calculate distance between b and c so absolute difference between x coordinate plus absolute difference between y coordinate okay so absolute difference between x coordinate plus absolute difference between y coordinate minus 1 plus 2 you can easily understood understand this from the this figure okay try it once so similarly from a to b we will calculate absolute value of x2 minus x1 plus absolute value of y2 minus y1 minus 1 plus 2 like ac okay now we have already discussed that only two cases are there the first case is if if this thing distance between a and b plus distance between a and c is equal to distance between b and c okay so if 
BC equal to distance between B and C equal to AB plus AC minus 1. Then our output will be what? Our output will be simply 1. Okay, only red 1 is common in this. But if this, this case is not, then our output will be what? We will sum up distance between AB and AC and we will subtract BC means distance between BC and then our output will be what? This R minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay. I hope you can easily understand this. Still you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section below.